Welcome back to the Basement Graves of Beers. I am Twisted Logic. So Shorest is um, sunken into a depression and is currently socializing, but the only... Um, if I go to um, Z for status and then relationships, uh, Shah Rule is his uh, deity and the only one that he speaks to. Sharul is a deity of the Crafts of Fog. Sharul most often takes the form of a female dwarf and is associated with chaos. <laughs> Very fitting. <laughs> We're still cleaning up the fortress. I go to the units list here. Uh, decent amount of un undead on the map as well as um, goblin goblins and a few humans. Um... We are putting the ghosts to rest now. So all the ghosts are going to be to rest. Um, there is in this craft dwarf workshop a bunch of different memorials that just need to be installed. And uh, so I was originally I was um, hoping that they would build the graves fast enough to get the dwarves into the graves before the ghosts would come. And I wouldn't have to carve the memorial slabs, but it, uh, they're going a little slow, the cleanup here. We have 26 citizens at this point, and um, hopefully the um, things start taking a turn for the better. I'm letting the game run at this point, and uh, I'm seeing what happens. Let's go to the units list here. Oh, so Kivish is going to um, construct another one of the memorial slabs. Hopefully it's um, the last ghost that we have in the fortress. Some more ghosts may pop up because they are building these graves pretty slowly. Uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to designate some more graves to be built though because this isn't enough. So build and then N for a very receptacle and the planning mode on. Okay, so I just added this row as well, these four rows. And what I want to do is um, what I want to do is dig out this right here. I'm going to change this a little bit, but I want to dig a um, water tunnel that comes down this way. And connects to this section here. So I want a um, reservoir slash well for the hospital and expand the hospital a little bit and then also a tunnel that goes to the um, tree farm here and we're going to expand the tree farm as well. So to expand it, I'm going to have to check on... Um, how many miners I have. So I designated a little bit of an expansion. Uh, well, we make it a little bit bigger. And I'll just check above and below. Okay. Thread into silk. I thought I turned that off. I'm gonna have to just double check um, dwarf therapist. Hmm. 
So I'm going to turn off woodcutting for everybody so they stop carrying axes around with them. <laughs> and uh, just turn on mining for uh, Kivish, Reg, and uh, Anil. Yeah, write the changes. Okay. And uh, well, let's see what's going on here. Oh uh, yeah, so Lore has to get soap from down here and then come up to the water up here to clean himself, but uh, that's going to change soon. So uh, I, I think I said earlier that this isn't going to be the most efficient fortress, and um, but that doesn't mean it's going to be uh, super inefficient either. It's going to be somewhere about middle of the road. So, I, but I do want to, um, I do want to get this well down here. I could even probably move the soap stockpile somewhere over on this side closer to the well if I wanted to, but uh, I think I'll leave it. Thaltig here is, um, looks like he's starving and dehydrating. So, let me see if I can find him real quick. Units. Okay, so Thaltig is crawling around babbling. If I go to W for wounds, uh, starving, dehydrated, dehydrated, and drowsy. Um, let's look at the um, thoughts and preferences here. She has been overthrown by the stress of day-to-day -day living. Um, shaken after suffering a major injury. Afraid after experiencing trauma, she was annoyed after suffering a minor injury, shocked, um, reliving being attacked, disgusted dwelling upon um, retching on uh, miasma, uneasy after a lack of decent meals for too long. We are making some decent meals, we're making, um, but uh, yeah, I think that um, Thaltic doesn't have a uh, too much longer. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more videos. Got some creepy crawlers running around as well. I want to go to the zone here and um, just let this go to shift in and I'm going to let the cat out. Is the question. No. Okay, so we've released the cat. No, not Kib. Um, Cog here doesn't really have too many skills that are useful, so I'm going to clear all assigned labors. And uh, burial, refuse hauling. So I set cog. I'm gonna find cog in the list here. I just set cog to um, burial and burial and refuse hauling only for cog. So when he finishes his current job then hopefully he starts doing some of that and um, hopefully the siege doesn't last too much longer I'm just gonna check on those guys yeah they're just grouping together here and here these are um, possibly some new tactics um, from the villain release because I've never seen the undead do that before, but this time they have um, goblins and humans with them, so. Oh, great. So it looks like Cog is now um, doing some hauling. And I'm going to follow Cog, and I may cut the video out until um, something crazy happens, which I'm sure that uh, something crazy is going to happen pretty soon. <laughs> okay, 
what's going on here. We'll go to the reports here. Looks like, um, Shorest and, um, Thaltig are fighting. Uh, there's only one page here. The hauler punches the hauler in the lower body with his right hand, bruising the fat through the robe. Um, the hauler stands up, misses the hauler. Grabs him by the second toe, right foot of, with his right hand. Um, so the first hauler that's punching is um, our dungeon master. So it looks like um, looks like sure sure has started the fight here. If I look at the wounds here, um, sure Ast is completely fine, and um, Thaltig is uh, getting beat up. Um, I just want to look at um, the inventories here as well and see if there's any armor or weapons involved. Now, Thaltig is actually um, just covered in blood without any um, clothes or jewelry on. So, so Thaltig, if I go to um, I go to um, relationships here. Thassit is his um, deity. Let's take a look at um, this deity with a view. Thassit is a deity of the crafts of fog. Thassit is mo uh, most often takes the form of a female dwarf associated with nightmares, creation, and rebirth. Excellent. And which, I think that this is the, let me just look at the location here. Not so L. Labor is trades. Oh, so this is a craft, I, okay, so I thought that this was a, um, I thought that this was a temple, but it's a um, craft dwarf guild hall. Okay, so Shorest strikes again. Ha 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 ha! Just let him, left him there bleeding out, it looks like. And now, um,. Now he's throwing a tantrum. So, yeah, Cog's doing a pretty good job with this, so I'm gonna set uh, these three as well. Let me just check their labors here quick. Uh, masonry is pretty important right now with the um, speed at which they create the coffins. So, these guys right here clear labors. Uh, these guys and girls. So everybody here is going to be ah. currently at 26 dwarves. Let me hit the announcements here. Yeah, we do need splints and crutches. Um, I'm out of wood. And we have a forgotten beast down below. And also the invasion on the map there.
So until this tree farm here starts growing. However, the um, FPS seems to have picked up now that uh, we only have like 26 dwarves. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be um, past this part uh, sooner rather than later. Okay, so Thiltog just died. Oh, Thaltig. Thaltig just died. So our population is uh, now 25. Thaltig just died. <laughs> the forgotten beast Uzab has come. An enormous hairy bee. It has a broad shell and it undulates rhythmically. Its beige hair is unkept. Beware its poisonous sting. I want to capture this bee. Um, I want to find it here quick. I'm going to go to units and zoom to it. If this is a flying bee, then um, it may be pretty good because it should be able to fly from the lower caverns to the should be able to fly from the um, lower caverns up the stairs that I built because the stairs are kind of there's open space and then there's an up down stair in this in the ceiling that goes up to the next cavern layer and um, So it looks like it's fighting a Reacher right now. But if we can get this um, Uzab to the surface, then and we might be able to... Um... Okay, so the door is open over here. I'll just keep an eye on Uzab for a little bit because the um, the door is open, although it looks like it's going down to a lower level. Yeah, I need, um, oh, it did, yes, Azab can fly. And so if I actually get Azab, if Azab actually goes up to the surface and, uh, looks like it's fighting some just cave monsters right now, troglodytes and reachers and stuff. But if Azab does fly and attack the siege and survives, then, um, I want to attempt to capture Azab. Okay, so if I click on masonry here, then it's going to sort by uh, masonry skill. And what I'll do is um, I'll just take anybody three and above, or anybody that's not three in masonry. So three or less, and turn off masonry. And now with everybody with uh, masonry on, farming and sapping turn off, as well as all these tasks. Miners here, I'm just gonna clear all labors and give them only mining. And I guess I can also do burial um, furniture and refuse hauling. I don't normally get to record today, but um, so today's like kind of an extra day, which is great.
Oh, okay. So this coffin right here, um, extra room of the building. I don't want a coffin in front of the door there. Follow lore. I believe lore is um, one of the ones set to furniture hauling. Um, and now he's socializing, which is fine. Let's uh, look at his status here. Enter. She has been under a great deal of stress. Don't bother trying to play on my emotions. Lonely after being away from people for too long. Lonely after being away from family for too long. Frustrated after being unable to pray to Sharul for too long. She can pray. What's why can't you pray? She was frustrated. I'm gonna have to. Um... Oh, you know what? Now that I have gotten rid of the um, adventurers. I'm going to set a new um, location here. So I for zones and uh, we're going to make a meeting spot and uh, location. Add a location and this is going to be a temple. And now that I got rid of those adventurers, we we see the um, just the religions that my dwarves actually like, instead of the humans, all, all the human crazy religions. So this is going to be a temple dedicated to Sharul, and I believe that um, I'm just going to make a couple containers in here. Three is fine. So this is a temple now dedicated just to Sharul, and I'm going to turn this location up here into Sharul's temple. Uh, or maybe I won't. I'm just going to do some kind of temple with this room. Uh, maybe I'll also put a temple in this area here, but um, that's going to be um, later on when we can actually get back onto the surface. So I had to sort out some uh, job assignment, and now we're getting a lot more coffins than um, coffins in this area being built. But for some reason, uh, just make sure that those aren't suspended. Okay, those are made. I thought that, um, okay, so build alt s. Oh, these two slabs right here. Construction inactive on both of these. Forbid and unforbid this, um, these two memorials because uh, they've both been there for a long time, and not really sure why they're not being moved. Okay, so Zan has uh, sunk into a depression here. Let's see what his relationships are. Ryzen is a deity. Let's view that. Ryzen oiled cave is a deity of the crafts of fog. Ryzen most often takes the form of a male dwarf associated with minerals. Okay. And he's got some passing acquaintances, which is good. 
He's sunken into a depression. Dig a downstair right there. Downstairs, here, here, and here, and then just a path over this way. Okay, didn't start this yet, and um, I'll take a pathway this way here. I'll probably put a floodgate in somewhere over here, and then build a well right here on top. Okay, so I built a well here, uh, designated some floors to be constructed here, tables, four beds, and four traction benches, and decided to cut this wall allowed a little bit to try and expand the hospital a little bit more. And then some of these beds here, uh, they're going to remove it and move them over here. So four of these beds. Might bring them to the stockpile first, I'm not sure. And some of them are still moving refuse as well. Okay, so Uzab is over here by the um, lower fortress entrance. Just chased a crundle away and uh, just keeping an eye on Uzab. Something just happened. Announcements? Kivish has been found dead. We're going to zoom to that. the cursor here. Just gonna claim the area, claim the items in the area. Okay, so our population is now 24. God's lower right uh, back tooth being hauled. He took it out of this refuse stockpile here, and I believe that he's bringing it to the other refuse stockpile that um, I'm only allowing dwarf parts in. Just following Cog right now. No, he moved it from that stockpile over here to this stockpile over here for some reason. Look at the settings of this one. Corpses and refuse. And I don't believe I set anything. Yeah, so that just accepts everything. 
about this one. Settings of this. Just refuse. So I'm going to enable corpses on this one. Because I, at some point I deleted this stockpile and remade it. So I may have um, not turned corpses back on. So they were taking corpses from over there and putting it over there. It's possible that he's doing that again because I just said it and um, if he was already on the job and then I changed the settings, he's still going to be on the job until it's complete. So nobody's in this large bedroom, so uh, I'm going to assign somebody to it. Um, looks like the only one without a room is uh, Destot here, so he gets it. That's a child. Maybe a teen. It's just a uh, short sort by age here. I want to see how old. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna sort by ha I'm gonna in dwarf therapist here, and I'm sorting by happiness. Um. These dwarves are miserable, these are very unhappy, these dwarves are unhappy, and these dwarves are doing fine. So worst case scenario, it's the fortress is going to go down to five dwarves. Well, close to worst case. Worst case is that everybody dies, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that... Um, I think that the fortress is going to bounce back from this, and um, you'll be able to see how devastating things can be that you can return from. So it looks like, uh, let me just take a look at these graves. So there's a lot of empty graves right now. So COG right now, uh, as a test, uh, I have COG only doing burials, since now I have a lot of empty graves, and um, COG seems to be doing pretty fine, so he's not going to get jammed up with depression, I hope. So COG's only assignment right now is burial. After he stores this in the stockpile, that should take over in his, uh, oh, he's going to sleep. Of course he's going to sleep. They keep going in to diagnose these patients. What are the uh, announcements here? Oh, okay. So they keep on trying to um, diagnose the patients and then bring them splints and crutches. Let's see what else is going on here. Yeah, if we had some um, wooden logs, uh, we'd be in a much better spot than we are. 
And oh, look at that. One of the trees grew into the um, excellent. So designation is T. Chop down tree. And I'm going to put that at priority one. And before I go and turn on wood cutting for one of the dwarves, I'm going to go over to this carpentry shop. And on the crutch here, and for now, and then also, I need to add a task for a splint. Repeat that, we'll W, and a range of this. I want to make a lot of splints, but um, I think um, I think five to ten is good for now. Now it's the 14th of Moonstone and uh, we have some trees. We have one tree, the first tree that grew. Okay, so I turned on wood cutting for Cog, uh, Kib, Urist, and Locum. They seem to be the ones that are um, the happiest. So the four happiest dwarves, I let them uh, go woodcutting because they have the um, smallest chance of getting into a fight with somebody while holding an axe. And if somebody starts to fight with them, now they have an axe. Those are the happiest dwarves. Hopefully they stay happy. And I'm going to dig out that wall right there. Eventually they'll um, get dug out. I'm not too uh, to worry about when that happens. The miners, there's three miners right now, I believe, and um, they are set to mining, burial, refuse hauling, and furniture hauling. So the, the refuse and burials are a little bit more important, so I'm not worried if they... Uh, Not too worried about the mining, but eventually that'll start getting done. Somebody did cut the tree down while I wasn't paying attention here. And, um... There are a bunch of them with, um... Carpentry turned on. So I want to, um... The crutch is here. Now, excellent. So, Urist is going to create a wooden crutch. Keep an eye on this area every once in a while because now tunnel tubes and uh, tower caps and stuff are going to start popping up in this area every so often. I still want to make it larger and flood it again. And we also have to get the stones out of that area as well. Okay, so he's making a crutch now. So hopefully somebody in the hospital here gets it. Uh, I think Errol here, if I go to his wounds, yeah, he's missing his whole um, right lower leg, so he really needs the crutch. We need to get these guys uh, out of bed.
So this is interesting here. Um, Sithad is constructing a wooden splint and Urist is constructing a wooden crutch and they're both at the same carpentry workshop here. Sorry, I never saw two dwarves at the same workshop. That may be unique to carpentry workshops. I'm not really sure. It may also be a uh, part of the villains release of the latest update. Okay, so they both went to go drink and now, uh, let's see here. Dwarf here. Sigun. Follow Sigun. I claim this workshop in the name of invention. Okay, so Sigun just claimed the mechanics workshop. He's got some stone there. So these are Sigun's uh, thoughts and preferences here. He has become haggard and drawn due to tremendous stress placed upon him. Within the last season, he felt satisfied, and satisfied after receiving water. Restless and being unable to rest and recuperate. Self-pity after being unable to practice a craft for too long. So Sigun is possessed. Going after the wooden logs. Okay, I'm glad I had them. But uh, at the same time, that was my last wooden logs. I only got three from that. Um, I only got three wooden logs from that tree. One of them became a crutch, one of them became a splint, and the other one is going into this creation. Okay, you need something else, I think. We have metal bars. Cloth thread. I should have it. Stone rock, I, should, I have that. I want more trees. Sigun might starve. <laughs> okay, Kid is going to diagnose one of the patients here. Hopefully he goes and gets the crutch for him. Okay, he's going back to diagnose a patient. The same patient. So right here I'm going to build a gem window. So build and then shift Y for a gem window. Just gotta find it here in the list here. Here we go. Gem window, shift Y. And I'm gonna select that uh, to be right here. Enter. And then I'm just gonna uh, select uh, three of the same gems here. I know that um, this guy doesn't want a window in his office, but he's getting a window in his office. We don't care. <laughs> he may want a window. Who knows? If he wants it or not, he's getting it. <laughs> okay. 
just gonna take a look at these. So I have a lot, a lot of um, these coffins in place now. Um, almost all of them completed, but we still have a lot of um, dwarves that are unburied. So I'm gonna go to Dwarf Therapist. Okay, and now I'm just gonna set most of the dwarves. Um, I'm gonna set most of the dwarves to mirror um, these three right now: refuse hauling, uh, furniture hauling, and burial. Oh, wood cutting on him. That's fine. So clear all assigned labors. And then burial, furniture hauling, refuse hauling. I do also need um, some other things. I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna let the game run for a little bit like this and then set some levers back. Now Cog is uh, placing an item in the tomb. What's he got here? Inventory. He's got Ficod's uh, Ficod's partial skeleton here. And so after a few minutes, the the rest of the dwarves are going to start um, picking up the tasks for burial and refuse hauling, and we'll let that run. Um, for a couple days here. It's the 14th of Opal right now, so we're gonna let it run for in that way for a little bit. Uh, maybe until Obsidian, which is the next month in 15 days, 16 days. So they're doing furniture hauling, refuse hauling, burial, and nothing else. Several Cyril has been found dead, dehydrated. I think that Cyril died earlier. Our population's 24 right now, so I think that he died earlier and we just uh, maybe just discovered the body now. It looks like most of them now are doing burial duties. Um, and coffin construction, they're doing the last coffin now. Looks like somebody, somebody got that crutch, because there's only three patients in the hospital now. Um, I'm gonna have to lock these doors here. Because, um, Sigun here is possessed by an unknown force, and needs a second, uh, win logs that we don't have. Hopefully I get the logs that he has back. But unless we get another tree down here, oh, we do. Excellent. Um, designations tree, and then I'm gonna set these to priority one, and I'm gonna have to pop into dwarf therapist and turn tree felling on. Okay, so wood cutting is now on for everybody. So everybody right now is wood cutting, burial, furniture hauling, and refuse hauling. Turn carpentry on as well. So carpentry, wood cutting, burial, refuse hauling, and furniture hauling. So maybe I won't, uh, I'll unlock those doors up there. Everybody's going to be carrying axes now, too, so hopefully nobody gets into a fight. And uh, Locum's now felling one of the trees. What happened? 
What is he doing? He's going to harvest plants instead. Okay, somebody else is going to come. Who's this? Okay, so Dayton's coming in here to uh, harvest it. Uh, fell a tree, and same with uh, Asmel. So once this happens, hopefully the um, dwarf that's possessed is going to come down here and grab wood. Excellent. So Sigun is on his way, he's on his journey. So I cut the videos down a little bit, So, but I think it's been about um, four or five hours since the original bloodbath in, in um, the real world, four or five hours of gameplay. Looks like he's got some copper bars as well. Which isn't too bad. And he should be going to grab some cloth now, I believe. The window was installed. More cloth? Okay. Oh, and, and right here we have like a decent amount of the dwarves doing the burials. Uh, excellent. So Sigun has begun his construction. And uh, this stockpile's getting empty. It's starting to get cleared out. Place item in tomb. So if I go to units now, almost everybody's placing items in tombs. I'm gonna go to the carpentry workshop here and just see what they're doing. So I want them, I'm, I need more crutches, so in. For a splint as well. We kind of are have been low on wood for a very long time. So we're out of uh, barrels and bins as well, but uh, the crutches and splints right now are a little bit more important until um, until all these three uh, dwarves are out of the hospital. Okay, it's uh, second of obsidian now, and uh, we're still um, still placing items in the tomb. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna leave the jobs as is right now um, until a majority of the until a majority of the the um, dwarves are taken care of. But these guys are forbidden here. Um, Irvod's head is uh, forbidden and his partial skeleton is forbidden. So I'm going to go to designations B for building and item properties and C to claim. And then just make sure that all of this is claimed. And I'm just going to check around the fortress claiming items. Sigon has created a uh, dolomite mechanisms and claims it as a family heirloom. Let's take a look at it. Um, Shift L. The description here. Case for Asat Gobmolod. Quiet Chapel of Solitary Wills. A Dolomite Mechanisms. All craft's dwarfsmanship is of the highest quality. It is encrusted with cushion dolomite carbachons and encrusted with bands of spore tree, copper, and cave spider silk. This object menaces with spikes of copper. On the item is an image of a giant lizard in spore tree. On the item is an image of a leaf in pigtail. And Sigat has claimed it as a family heirloom. Now he's going to rest. Locum is starving. Monmus is dehydrated and Errol is dehydrated. We still have plenty of food and drinks in the fortress, but it is now the 15th of Obsidian and I turned brewing and cooking back on for the dwarves. Shorest is brewing a drink from a plant. 
And if I go to the um, task here and hit Alt W for the workflow, I have 159. Um, that's an easy way you can kind of tell how much you have. And um, the lavish meals here, I have zero. And fine meals, though, I have 41 of them. So there is still food and drink, but uh, I don't want it to get to zero. They are still moving the refuse and burying the dead. However, a lot of them also started uh, dumping items here. I got another tree that came in here. And if I go to uh, W for Burrows and Burrow 2 here, um, Burrow 2 isn't set, but Burrow 3 here, I forgot that I set this as um, an auto chop burrow. So I didn't even designate this tree, and they're going to come in and auto chop it. So things are starting to look up in Basement Graves of Beers again, which is great. We still have the invasion on the map. Um, both of the Forgotten Beasts are currently hidden. Doesn't mean they're not on the map, they're just in a location that I can't see. It looks like the invasion may be leaving. Uh, let me just zoom out and see if there's not another group, because the groups are now split. Oh, okay. I thought that this group had left the map. But no, they seem to be, um... They seem to be moving around a little bit more into smaller groups. Okay, so we're getting a decent supply of trees at this point. This is, um the 25th of Obsidian now. And um, trees are starting to pop up in here as they dump the stones to this um, garbage dump here. The um, There's more space for the trees. Monmuz has been found dead dehydrated. Let's look at the announcements here and zoom. Oh, okay. So Mistem has um, gone stark raving mad. Where is he? So we now have a population of 23 after um, Mon Muz's death. It's the first of uh, the year 306 now. What happened now? Oh, okay. So somebody's pet here has been found dead. Erish, the cabbie boar. if that was uh wonder if sure asked murdered that cavy boar after we get some migrants we're going to be setting up a jail and uh, uh, taking a look at the justice system as well oh it looks like the invasion just left the map Let me zoom out a little bit um, go to units list. Okay, so the undead are still here, but their invasion tag is cleared. So let me zoom over to them. Flywoman, crossbowman, corpse. Okay. Horn 
Horned Owl, Woman, Bowman, Corpse. So there's actually a couple flying undead here on the map. Flyman, Pikmin, uh, Pikeman. So there seems to, um, the invasion left the map, however, there seems to be a bunch of, um, flying undead that are, uh, attacking. These ones down here, I think, were part of the, um, original, uh, trap here. Oh, up there at the top. So I'll give it a little bit more time and then check out Check out what's still on the map. The dwarves are, are um, still doing the cleanup, but uh, it is almost complete and um, might be able to open up the fortress pretty soon. See, I did turn up the um, workflow for the splints and crutches a little bit, so we have some reserves. Okay, so I turned on item hauling, and uh, they should uh, they should be making a bunch of bins for the um, ammunition stockpile and um, the bars and block stockpile. Anil here is uh, starving and dehydrating. So Anil might not last very long. Here he is. Stricken by melancholy. And Miss Tem here is uh, running around babbling. So now that it's uh, the year 306, I'm just going to adjust the labors a little bit. I'm turning some things back on here. And um, just check out this announcement that I heard. Locum. Locum has been found dead. So our population is now 21. Sort by nothing. And then sort by masonry. Oh, masonry is off, okay. So from cog up here, these guys are going to be builders again. Sort by farming, and uh, these guys here. I'll make uh, stewards. Okay, now I'm sorting by profession here, and um, these guys here. I'll make haulers. Even though most of the haulers here are uh, not doing that great, let's um, take a look at the happiness. Okay, so these five are still doing fine. I got three that are unhappy, seven very unhappy, and six that are miserable. So these six might drop off, and then um, it may be 14, we may be back down to 14 dwarves again. But I'm going to let the game run with these uh, labors in place until, um, maybe until I think that uh, it's a little less efficient and then maybe I'll turn some of them off and on. Migrant wave. Um, there are undead on the map here. Um, Flywoman Axemans. 
uh, corpse flying around and um, flyman spearman. Uh, there's also a great horned owl man uh, pikeman corpse that are flying around in the upper portion of the map. Uh, but let's zoom to these migrants here. Vesmar. Okay, he's all the way over here. So we should get, hopefully get more than just one of them. I'm going to... Military alerts and then get inside. And then what I'll do is um, pull this lever here. They destroyed one of the levers. So I'm going to have to rebuild one of the levers there. Oh, okay. They destroyed the lever that opens the main gate here. I'm going to have to close this. Hold on a second. Let me just see if they can get in on this ramp. So if they come up the ramp here... No, they don't have access to the stairs there. Okay, build trap lever, and then I'll put that up here. Enter. And hopefully, um, hopefully the migrants here, is it just the one guy? Uh, we got a doctor here, Besmar, and I really want to get him inside the fortress, but, uh, Oh, we got a lot more of that. Okay. So let me get a migration wave. We got all these dwarves. We got um, 20 dwarves just showed up. See? Population 22 is still here, but Dwarf Therapist says, says that 20 of them showed up. So I really need to... Um, Get this fortress open to get these guys inside. Units. Oh great, so he's making the lever. Kib's making the lever. Builder Kib. And now add a task to link a bridge. That first one. Yep. And I'll just I'll I'll have to relink these ones a little bit later. These guys aren't dying over here. Okay, this keeps getting suspended here. I'm gonna have to do an emergency measure here of, um, it's a little risky, but I'm gonna have to designate a, designate to, um, uh, not there though. I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna open up the wall down here. So these doors here I can lock, and I'm just gonna dig uh, priority one right here. Everybody in the fortress clear their labors. Okay. Everybody has mining and construction.
Military alert. I have getting to, maybe it's the borough that's doing it. Yeah. So um, add the borough here. And then R to erase, but maybe it's the burrow over here. Yeah, so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't link the bridge actually because the burrow. They're they're restricted to the burrow right now, and the bridge is outside the burrow. So maybe I won't do because if I, yeah. So designations, designations X to remove that. Okay. Everybody's going to do mechanics and levers. And then once I get the uh, migration wave inside, then I can. So let me unsuspend that, and then military, military alert, have training, and for now, units. Okay, steward, steward reg is going to link the lever, and then once I get the mo uh, as many of these migrants inside as possible, what happened? What happened? Disable digging. Announcements. Oh, Onal was uh, found dehydrated. Unsuspend that. Keeps getting suspended. Military alert inactive. So none of the boroughs are active. Um, what I'll do is I'll hit uh, C to cancel, A to add, bridge, and then select this bridge again. Maybe it had something to do with the specific items. And uh, Builder Kib, we're going to follow Builder Kib, link in the bridge. Oh, now he's going to construct a traction bench. What happened? It got suspended again. Okay, so I'm going to have to do the original, original plan of just breaking through the wall here. So designations, priority one, and right there. And then turn mining on because um, if I don't get these migrants inside, uh, the fortress may not survive much longer. Okay, who is this? The okay, builder Urist is going to break through the wall right here. Okay, military alert. Get inside, and uh, let me zoom to these. Okay, and now the um, the migrants are making a run for it. Hopefully, they make it. Okay, so some one of the flywoman axemen is attacking as the migrants as well. Population is now back to 39. It's going back up, which is great. And I need to build a uh, construct wall. I 
right there. And I'm gonna do it out of uh, blocks out of blocks here. But then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna suspend it. Flying woman is uh, shooting arrows. So the migration wave is being attacked as they're coming in. Uh, hopefully these animals get in too. I would like it if the animals got in, but uh, we'll see. If the undead gets in here, that's going to be a problem. Just gonna check around for. Um, to see if we got most of them in or not. Uh, there's a stray mule that's going pretty slow. I'd like to get the mule in, but uh, just want to keep an eye on uh, Okay, he might be a goner there. Tubble. Tubble's being attacked there. He, he's gonna. Unfortunately, they got some of them. So I think everybody that is in that's gonna that's gonna get inside. And um, so what I'm gonna do is unsuspend that construction. Is going to construct the building right now. Okay, we're walled off again. Excellent. So our population's now 38, and we got the migrant wave inside, uh, which is great. Most of the well, the undead invasion is off the map, but not all of the undead are on the map, off the map. Okay, so I'm gonna sort by masonry first, and then everybody right here. Well, I'll I'll expand it a little bit. A dwarf with an idea is a very dangerous thing. From Zan to Kib here, I'm gonna set them as builders, and then. Oh, okay. So, these guys here with the farming skill, I'm going to set them as stewards. Okay, and then what's left here? So the rest of these guys I'm going to set as haulers. Excellent. There's still goblin blood all over the place as well some of the locations. Um, some of the dwarves are still going to die and some of them may still go crazy. However, um, we got our migration wave in. Uh, miners are mining again. Items are being sorted. And we have trees growing in the tree farm. So things are looking up for basement graves of beers. We currently have um, zero ghosts. And in the next episode, we're going to get all this sorted out and um, go from there. Maybe I hope we'll get back onto the surface pretty soon. I'm, we're digging this well in the hospital as well as um, we're going to be hopefully creating a mead and beekeeping industry mean and wax working thank you very much for watching subscribe for more videos